Another movement that is often discussed in the New Age community as well as those who study the alien phenomenon is called transhumanism. Transhumanism is loosely defined by Max Moore as, quote, Transhumanism is across the philosophies of life that seek the continuation and acceleration of the ele- evolution of intelligent life beyond its current human form and human limitations by means of science and technology guided by life principles and values, end quote. Further, the definition is more defined by Moore as, quote, the intellectual and cultural movement that affirms the possibility and desirability of fundamentally improving the human condition through applied reason, especially by developing and making widely available technologies to eliminate aging and to greatly enhance human intellectual, physical, and psychological capacities, end quote. This sounds very close to the same goals that are put out by the New Age community, the occultists and theosophy, the ancient Egyptians, among others. While philosophies may vary, the core of these philosophies remain the same, which is the pursuit to find some higher purpose or higher consciousness of living than the current human state we are living in. Further, it contains the idea that we are more than what we are now and we need to abandon old ways and seek a higher self or a more evolved self to ultimately better us and the world around us. This, like with the lie Satan told Eve in the garden, contains some truth. We do need to evolve and become better as human beings. We do need to come up higher. However, nowhere in the New Age movement or the transhumanist movement or any of these philosophies do they propose we do this by having a relationship with the Almighty God. Instead, by other means such as science, technology, and other spiritual practices. Notice here it mentions trying to stop the aging process as well as mixing humans with technology for higher advancement. With what we've learned so far, this sounds a lot like the technology that could have been used between the fallen angels and mankind to produce the the hybrid race of the Nephilim. This sounds exactly like what was done in the days of Noah. We don't know what technologies were used exactly back then, but we do know that the DNA was corrupted. And the concept of combining beasts with man, different animals, with other animals that aren't its kind, creating hybrids, etc., is exactly what this transhumanist movement sounds like it's advancing and promoting. In addition, because of the fall of man and the condition of sin, we still die. Physical death is ultimately the enemy of mankind and is a goal of many people to strive how man can escape death. Satan has deceived the elites and those in secret societies who follow these various philosophies that if they do what he says, they will be gifted with eternal life or becoming a god, being able to escape this final judgment. Of course, the only solution to this problem is salvation. While we still may die in this physical body, life never truly ends. Our spirits move on to be and go back with the Lord and continue life in the spirit realm and in heaven. One day, those that tirelessly work day and night to try and cheat death and escape the corruption of this world will be very disappointed at the end of all things if they have not accepted Jesus Christ. I would like to throw in caution here to anybody watching that as technology develops new and what can seem like very exciting improvements in science to make people live longer, potentially cure for different diseases, etc., we must be careful what we're going to inject into our bodies that would alter our DNA in any way to make us something beyond human. Jesus came back as a pure stock lamb with no genetic flaws from the genetic tampering that we read about in Genesis 6 to redeem humans. He did not come to redeem hybrids. His blood specifically destroyed the hybrid race and the curse on mankind because of sin. Jesus also warns us that as in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. So what was happening in Noah's time that we read about? Well, this DNA tampering. So while everybody is free to make healthy choices that they feel might be right for their families and themselves, we just want to be cautious and make sure we're connected to the Spirit of God and listening to what the Spirit has to say in these last days to make sure we don't do something that would alter our DNA completely. Our DNA as humans is already flawed because of the sin and because of this fallen realm. 
but something is coming that will actually seek to make someone beyond human and it will have very amazing benefits. It will be cutting edge and even be used to promote health and wellness by potentially promising humanity that we could live longer, cure diseases, among other things. And while these many good things can come out of this, it is the altering of human genetics and making someone beyond human is what I wish to caution you on. So while the goals of the transhumanist movement may sound noble, we have to remember that so have the eugenics movement, Marxism, fascism, and other movements that have attempted to control mankind and, quote, evolve them, end quote, to a higher state. It's interesting to note how all of these theories, such as evolution, has played a role in preparing mankind's psyche for these kinds of developments in the end times. In fact, it's ingrained in us that we as mankind have a moral obligation to our world and to one another to want to evolve and become better. And again, this sounds noble and it does contain some truth, but ultimately it rejects the very thing that will get mankind there. It rejects sin. It rejects personal accountability to the one true God and our creator. It says that man can do all of this on his own by a way of science and technology rather than with the help of God himself. This is Luciferianism at its core. The fact that man can play God and be God all without the one true God himself. And this is one of the great delusions sweeping our earth today.